Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Do What I Want official music video. Everybody know I'm better, hey, yeah, I'm better. Yeah. That's right, and as you guys remember, I was this dude, the one that came out the portal in the hut. For some reason, I don't know why that was the concept. Different song, bro, hey, different producer, yeah. but I can do anything. And speaking of doing what you want, I'm kind of mad at the person we'll be discussing today. We'll be talking about a billionaire son. Yes, my dad has a private jet and I love flying in it. Yes, my dad has a mansion and cars, and I love making videos with them. I'm kind of mad at the dude off rip, because, bro, you could have been like Batman, bro. You could have been Batman. It's not many people in life have the opportunity to be Batman, I feel like, and you wasted an entire life, in my opinion, respectfully. What you mean you're a billionaire son and you're not Batman fighting crime in the streets as a vigilante in a cool suit? Why? 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 Why is my question. What the f you see, he's on an interview right here. We're going to be taking a look at this video. I'm the son of a billionaire, ask me anything, which is a show where random people ask a specific person questions be behind a curtain anonymously, you know. Now, before we jump into this video, as you regular viewers know, um, like the video, and if not, fuck your mother, fuck your mother, or like the video, two options. All right, so I'm the son of a billionaire, not Batman. Ask me anything, let's check it out. If you were alone in a room with a son of a billionaire, what would you ask? Are you single? I mean, is your dad single? No, you have a sister? I'll take a brother maybe, no? All right, just asking, just asking, bro. Also, now that I think about it, who wants to ask the son of a billionaire anything? Bro, I wanna ask your dad stuff. He's the billionaire, what did he even do? I, I wanna look this up, hold on, my bad. I should have been prepared, but you guys know how we do it here. What is, what's this guy, Bobby? Misner. His dad, sorry. His dad. Tom Misner. Of course his name's Tom Misner. Damn, he look cool. Oh man, this dude has so many sugar babies. Look how many young women is he paying on a regular basis. Jeez, I, I need... <laughs> you know his zeal is popping. The most popping zeal in the, in the United States. Top 20 for sure. Hi, nice to meet you. Hey, how hey. are you? I'm good. Do I like... <laughs> Yo. <your hands? laughs> What's up, man? What's your name? I'm Bobby. Can I give you a gift? Yeah. I'm Bobby. Bobby Misner, the son of a billionaire. Perfect. Why do I, why do I, I can just envision his dad naming him with a monocle in his eye. Just the singular lens. Hmm. He shall, he shall be named Bobby, the son of a billionaire. A billionaire son. And he shall be interviewed by people in the future. <laughs> and he shall not be Batman. Can I give you a gift? Yeah. Wow, thank you. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, okay, this girl trying to find herself a husband. Hey, do you want a gift? Like, what did they tell them beforehand? I'm curious. Hey, yeah, you guys come back in an hour. You're going to interview with a billionaire son. And she just ran to the dollar store. I respect it. Respectfully, good effort. Point to Slytherin. <laughs> she looked like she, she was in Slytherin at some point. I'm just saying. Also, deduct points as well for a poor gift. Just a gift that's not up to standards for Bobby. Yeah, I got them at the dollar store for you, so I hope you oh, like wow. it. Oh, wow. Cool, I appreciate it. I'll keep on, I'll hold on to them. And then she says it. She's like, oh, I got them at the dollar store. Don't tell him that, damn. Are you single? Yes. Oh, damn. Okay. No, I'm not. Damn. Actually, I was saying yes because you gave me the flowers, but no. That's okay. I barely like guys anyway. Yo, what the fuck was that? Homie was in a trance, son. He was in a trance. It's like she, her, her witchcraft work. I told you she attended Hogwarts. Yes. Oh, damn. Okay. No, I'm not. Damn. Actually. Her Slytherin looking ass. I told you I spotted it out instantly. How does the amount of money you have affect how you interact with women? Okay, good question. I guess it's given me the ability to, to abuse my position, um, especially like, you know, with like- Bro, what? Don't- you know, don't ever start a sentence like this, dog. Why did he <laughs> Why did he think that was the appropriate way to start this? I guess it's given me the ability to, to abuse my position. Nah, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Oh, nah. I hope they edited this poorly. Man just threw that sentence out there. Okay. Nah, I feel like she can sue him somehow, right? He just admitted to a crime. Especially like, you know, with like going out and partying and the, and the nightclub scene and stuff where it's like, I could hook up with like models. Um, and obviously that was like super cool at when I, when I was like 18 to like 21. Okay, so his answer is really long. I'm not gonna lie. He, he has a complete venting session, which now I feel like that's the whole reason he did this. He's like, I don't have 
people to listen to me talk. Everyone feels like I'm a billionaire son and I have all my problems taken care of, but you don't know the struggles that I go through. My dad just gives me money every day and I don't know where to invest it. Imagine he just cries. Nah, but for real, he low-key vents really hard and this girl's like bored. And act as like, you know, an accessory. But as obviously I went through things in life, I started to realize that it's really nice to have a healthy relationship with someone that you actually... He kind of gets choked up a little bit, I feel like. He's like, yeah, I was just hooking up with models. And then the funniest thing is like, after he pours his heart out to this girl, she, her, this is her question. That you actually, you know, love. Who's the most famous person that you've ever got with? Lindsay Lohan. Um, I was like, I met, I met her. That got more of a reaction out of her than anything he said, which is hilarious. Okay, so he had a Freaky Friday with Lindsay Lohan. That's cool. Still not as cool as being Batman, but that's just me, respectfully. Respectfully, though. Could have been Batman. Look at how much of a I'm Batman maybe type jaw he has. Could have been Batman. Also, kind of feel bad for the guy, because imagine having a dad that's a billionaire. Yo, you got to listen to everything he says. Everything he says is right, most likely, you know? You don't have to go search on YouTube for motivational speakers. You got the motivational speaker in your house, but he's your dad also. Imagine you're trying to vent to him about real life stuff and he's giving you advice on where to invest your money. You think that people discredit your talent and hard work because of you and your family's money? Every single day of my career um, as a filmmaker, I think the way I make my success my own is like with my creativity and and my talent. With my creativity and my talent. That's how he makes his success his own. I mean, I guess that sounds good, but also that doesn't make sense because he titles all of his videos Billionaire Son. Like he refers to himself as Billionaire Son. Like he's trademarked that, like that's the brand. <laughs> Day in the life of a billionaire son. Day in the life of a billionaire son. Skipping school with a billionaire son. Oh, I've always wanted to know. Cause you know, they skip school differently than normal kids. Obviously that piques my interest. You know, stuff like that. That's basically his brand. But it's just funny cause he's like, you know, with my creativity and talent. With my creativity and, and my talent. All right, okay, let me get this straight. So this dude is a billionaire son and he's like, forget that dad, I'm, you know, I'm Bobby the YouTuber. You know, not Bobby the billionaire. And then he said, I'm over here with it. I mean, I don't even know. I can't judge him. Of course, that's cool. But also what is he not like? I need to know his finance situation. You know, I need to know how much money does he just have a credit card? Does his dad just let him use a credit card real quick? Or is he cut off? He's like, his dad's like, nah, I don't support the YouTube. What's going on here? Cause this middle part here and then this, this unbuttoned for sure silk shirt <laughs> that screams i still use my dad's credit card i feel like how do you feel when you see like a poor person on the street i've experienced that i did a i did a show where i was homeless for three nights the people that i that i knew that i met on the show hold on this man said he did a show where he acted homeless and then responded really in all seriousness and said no yeah i've experienced that mother i've experienced that so because i did a show you know, in a sh with a show, a crew and stuff filmed me do this, so I was homeless at some point. I've experienced that. I did a I did a show where I was homeless for three nights. And he doesn't stop there. No, no, no. He continues, and he's like, actually, some homeless people came up to me, and they were trying to beg with me. Like, they were just making a lot of money chilling or something. Like, he depicts them as just chilling. They kind of wanted to stay there because they could make 60 pounds in a day. So for them, they were like, why would I go and work? when I can just sit here and put my head down across my legs and get 60 pounds. They're gonna go buy weed, alcohol, and they were like, bro, they, they were, had more food than they needed. They had more food than they needed, he said with a smile. Don't you feel like you could do like a little bit more because you have that money? When I see poor people like- Let's go, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, okay, Cream Cardigan. Cream Cardigan coming through with the, with the hard hitting questions. That's what I'm talking about. Cream Cardigan, double C up in this bitch. That's what I'm talking about, put him on the spot. Two points for Hufflepuff. You know she's in Hufflepuff. I'm keeping the Harry Potter thing, I guess. When I see poor people, like, sure, like maybe I, I want to help them, but like how? The world is, is, is in a fair place. Like, I don't have time to spend my entire day going around, like looking after homeless people. That's not who I am. Should be, should be who you are, bro. Should be Batman. Obviously that's not, he's not cut out to be Batman. Now he gets re really mad though. He goes OG, I'm not gonna lie. Like he, he gets triggered kind of. Like you can tell people say this to him and he's like, no, I don't need to take care of homeless people. I mean, yeah, but you know. Yeah, people gonna say that, you know? So be prepared with a better answer, I guess. Like, I don't have time to spend my entire day going around, like, looking after homeless people. That's not who I am. I'm focused on, like, 
building stuff and helping people that want to change their lives and they want to do something positive for the community. Okay, I mean, on one hand, yeah. But on the other hand, what do you mean by that specifically in real life? Can you imagine a commercial advertising a product and that's the way they describe it? I'd be mad confused watching the television. Building stuff and helping people that want to change their lives and they want to do something positive for the community. And I don't feel like he does that. This man said by his YouTube videos, this is what he's doing. Who, I guess, we're asleep. We are asleep, man. He's up next, I guess. Hey, my boy's up next. His name's Bobby. My boy, Bobby Misna on the vlogs. Do you think that billionaires should exist? Yeah, I think it's great. You know, especially when you see people have, that have built it up ground up like Elon Musk or like there's so many, so many that are self-made. It gives people, I feel like the ambition and, and they feel like they can do it. Elon Musk was not self-made. Oh, okay. He, he came out from the family of millionaires. Uh, oh, okay. Damn. Me they immediately. Oh, okay. Why did he say that like a billionaire? Oh, okay. Also, that is pretty interesting. What the hell? Dude could have been Elon Musk. Elon Musk could have been Batman. I'm mad at Elon Musk too a little bit. How do you tip? I think here it's like very much so like this big tipping culture. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the time I'm like... All right, Cream Cardigan coming through with another hard-hitting question. This time about tipping. And Bobby over here gives the worst answer ever, I feel like. Bro, at least d lie. Yo, lie. <laughs> lie every time you're in this. I don't know. He could have just lied, I feel like. And then we, we won't think he's an, he's an asshole. He's a rich, entitled asshole. And I feel like he just willingly opened that door and was like, yeah. But you, you take a look and then let me know. And a lot of the time I'm like, like, bro, I feel like Uber Eats. Like, I'm not tipping. I'm sorry. I know they're, they're getting paid to be an Uber, Uber Eats driver and it's like taxes, fees, delivery fee, surcharge on the food. It's like, bruh, I'm not made of money. I'm not like just giving it out. Bro, why would you say that like that? And But then you just said you're trying to build a community where people want to help themselves or whatever the hell he said. I'm focused on like building stuff and helping people that want to change their lives and they want to do something positive for the community. Isn't this helping themselves? Like they're out working, grinding, you know what I'm saying? Delivering your food. So tip those people, you, you could help the community right there. You're not made of money. Are you or are you not a billionaire, son? You're claiming it, I'm the son of a billionaire. So what's the point of saying that, bro? Now I'm curious about this dude's background and the accuracy of his story. Something's not adding up. What you mean you're not tipping on Uber Eats and Postmates? Already, anybody go to your house, they gotta drive four miles from the gate because you live in a mansion, for sure. Because for sure you live in a mansion with a four mile driveway that's four miles and then you're not tipping the uber eats driver and whatever nah evil villain evil villain that's why he can't be batman cannot be batman because he's an evil villain he is the joke he's more the joker i can see it now i see it hero or villain villain for sure why see first of all said villain way too fast hero or villain villain for sure what would he be though in real life if he just had his own power. He ties you up, he's like, watch me spend so much money while you can't. On things that you want. <laughs> Damn, that sucks, that'd be a horrible evil villain. He just knows your deepest desires and buys everything in front of you. Oh man, that sucks. No, don't buy that, I want that same exact car. And then also those shoes I want too in my size, but he buys them and then you can't, man. <sighs> Worst villain in the world. Why? I feel like their life is generally cooler and they don't have to accommodate for as many people. They sort of just look after themselves and like have a lit time. The Joker like, bro, he's having a fantastic time. Yeah. He's just having fun. I'd say I consider myself a villain, um, but it's like a necessary evil in life. Nah, see, and I don't like how he said this. There's a necessary evil in life. Hey, don't say that so creepily to where I feel unsafe now. Can we monitor this dude? Joking, but also serious a little bit. What? Nah, he just buys a ray gun. I feel like, nah, this dude's gonna buy a f <laughs> the most expensive, like an evil villain for real ray gun that just makes people want to tune into his short films. I will spray the entire world and everyone will want to tune into my YouTube. Wahaha. That's what he'll do. I feel like I'm on the side of the people and that's like my ultimate goal is, is to help out, you know, the, the people that I feel deserve it. What have you done that has been like the most impactful for you or like the world? I think inspiring people um, through my videos 
I get so many messages saying like how I've inspired them and how I've like showed people how to make videos in a inspiring people through his content and then they throw up these thumbnails. <laughs> Real day in the life of a billionaire son. Born rich. Life of the one point sorry, point one percent France. One million euro wardrobe. Why this editor jabbed him. This editor did him dirty as hell and I love it. I'm here for it. Whoever edited this video for Ask Me Anything, W, W editor for sure, W editor in the comments. Homie said, yeah, here's the examples of him being inspiring. Also, he insinuates he doesn't have much money, which is telling me like, I guess his dad did cut him off, but I'm too lazy to figure that out. So if you guys want to find out or comment down below, if you know, that'd be cool. Cause like now it's like, okay, you, you're, you better get money from your dad. Cause if you don't, why are you using that as your brand? Billionaire son. But, uh, but you better be. He don't, he better talk to you. I'm just saying he better give you money because if he doesn't, why are you, I'm a billionaire son. Don't say that. Be a normal person, which is ultimately the energy he's giving off. I feel like he just wants to be a normal person and wants to be seen as a normal person, but is going about every which way to not seem like a normal person with, with his whole branding online, which is funny. If you just look at his channel, it's like, look at how unnormal and cool and amazing I am. But, but also he, every opportunity he's like, yeah, people don't understand me. They don't understand me and they don't understand that I'm just a normal person too. I mean, you're, you literally say billionaire son, we're mad at you instantly, you know? Could have been Batman, could have been Batman. I feel like, and I feel like we've seen enough. Um, anyway, so that about wraps it up. I guess this dude was funny. Also, he was super entitled <laughs> with his perspective of some things, but hey, to each their own i'm sh he could be worse right he could have a huge ray gun that he spent a lot of money on thank you so much for watching and making it through and putting up with this dude for me if you made it up until this point i love you way more than everyone else and that's true dude so true i love you so much more than those other people also if you made it up until this point do me a favor and comment should have been batman down below i think it's appropriate it's only fitting right because should have been batman bro not many people in the world could be Batman. Your dad's a billionaire could have finessed something. Could have finessed some cool outfit, uniform thing, cape, gadgets, utility belt, Alfred, cave, etc. Dude, I'm just saying, and you're asleep. You're asleep, wasted potential. But let me know what you guys think down below. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. As you know, my name is Michael. Ta ta for now. And don't forget to join me next time where I tried to be Batman, I guess. I try. But the, I don't look as cool as in the uniform, you know? It's not, I don't have the chin. Anyways, <laughs> peace.